I'm gonna film this video standing up because I look great. Hey guys, it's Olivia and I'm back with another video. So as you can tell by my attire, I have graduated. I have graduated from the 12th grade, meaning that I still have four more years of school left. And in another four years, you'll probably see a video very similar to this. But for right now, I am a high school graduate. And yeah, so today is Wednesday, June 28th. This video isn't going up till whatever date Monday is, I think July 3rd. But yeah, so I'm already in my attire and I figure I'm never gonna wear this again so I might as well film a video in it. So <laughs> first I'd like to start off by saying this is my second graduation because I did graduate from the eighth grade and comparing the two I feel like I enjoyed my grade 8 graduation better because I don't know I feel like I was a lot closer with people in my elementary school and in high school not so much like yes a lot of people from my elementary school did attend my high school but we just kind of drifted apart and so I had friends there but not like super close but yeah so I feel like it was more fun at grade 8 because I was spending time with people I was really close with plus after grade 8 graduation we had a dance so graduation ended at like I don't know 7 p.m. and then we had a dance till about 10 so like three hours after we got to talk and laugh and talk about what we were gonna do in high school next year and there was a photo booth and everyone just got to socialize and mingle and stuff so I thought that that was really good this year like we just graduated and then left like yes we stayed back and took pictures and all that stuff but there was like I would say 10-15 minutes after the end of the graduation, everybody left. Another thing that I liked about my grade 8 graduation is they had like a slideshow of everyone that was graduating and they showed a baby picture and then a picture of them now. And I'm not saying they should have done that because there were over 300 people in my graduating class. So to do a baby picture and then a recent picture of everybody that's over 600 pictures which nobody has time for so I understand that but I feel like they could have done something to make it a little bit more personal like each year has their own twist to their graduation but it was just like set and the last thing that I liked more about my grade graduation is they announced the awards that you got like yes at high school graduation they have awards for like community service hours and stuff like that so those people got awarded those people got presented with their rewards on stage, but people who got like on a roll and stuff didn't, which I thought was kind of weird because that's a really big achievement, but whatever. But yeah, so that's just me comparing the two. But as I said, they didn't present all the awards, they only presented certain awards, and I won quite a bit of awards that didn't get presented. So now I'm going to show you what I won at graduation. So the first thing I got was this, and I walked across the stage, and I got my handshake, and I got my piece of paper. So you might think that this is my diploma, but it is not. I haven't opened it yet, but they told us at the grad social before graduation that it's a piece of paper that says congratulations on it. But let's just check. Ooh, okay, it says congratulations graduating class. Please pick up your diploma at the conclusion of the ceremony. Yep, that's great. Basically, they just give you these for show, and then at the end, you pick up this package that has all your stuff in it. So, let's open it up. So, first and foremost is my actual diploma. And it says, Ontario Secondary School Diploma. This diploma is granted to Olivia Henry, a student of Dumbarton High School, who has fulfilled the requirements for the Ontario Secondary School Diploma in accordance with the provisions of the Ministry of Education, Ontario. Very official, I know. The next thing I got was this Ontario Scholar Certificate. And it says, Ontario Scholar. This award designates as an Ontario Scholar Olivia Henry, who has obtained an average of at least 80% in any 6th grade 12 university preparation, university slash college preparation, college preparation, workplace preparation, 
open cooperative education or college delivered dual credit courses or Ontario academic courses. So that's a long way of saying I made honor roll in grade 12. <laughs> I also made honor roll in grade 11, 10, and 9, and in grade 8. I have a plaque of it on my wall. But this one is for grade 12, and yeah. The next award I got is a certificate of French as a second language. <laughs> so if you've watched my video called I'm Bilingual, you will know that I'm not actually bilingual. This basically just means that I took French throughout all of high school and typically when you take French throughout high school you're supposed to be fluent at the end of it. That's what they told me so that's why I did it. Am I fluent? <laughs> no. The only thing I've learned is bonjour. That's not gonna help me but <laughs> I have a certificate that says otherwise so <laughs> it reads Certificate of French as a Second Language presented to Olivia Henry, Dunbarton High School. <laughs> so official, I speak French. Proof. And the last thing I got is a Certificate of Endorsement for Art Studies, and it says, Certificate of Endorsement Art Studies, this certifies that Olivia Henry of Dumbarton High School has met the requirements of the Ministry of Education by successfully completing a minimum of six credits in art studies. So basically if you take six credits or more in art throughout the course of your high school career, you get this. I didn't even know this was a thing. The art courses that I took were music courses and I just love music and I've always taken music so added bonus didn't know I was getting it I was surprised to get it but I got it it says you need to take a minimum of six I took ten in grade nine I took keyboard music and instrumental in grade ten I took jazz and instrumental in grade eleven I took jazz instrumental and music theater and in grade twelve I took vocal instrumental and music theater so that makes a total of ten and so yeah I did a lot of art courses and yet I'm going into business next year which I don't really know how that correlates but that's what's happening. <laughs> so yeah, that's all for this week's video. I know that I have some footage from graduation. My brothers filmed it. I haven't looked at the footage yet, so I may or may not insert it at the end of this video. Don't know. I'll decide after I watch it. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you could give it a thumbs up, all my social media links will be down below in case you want to follow me on there. Be sure to subscribe to my channel because I make new videos every Monday, and I'll see you next Monday with a new video. And now, you can toss your caps. Stop recording for a sec.